racing, the last race of the day that aftertime Bridgewater handicap chase and back in June the power palace and the sheepskin nose band Kings Apollo, the front two towards the first fence and they're going to take 21 in total and they'll get over that safely in close Thomas Wilde and a nod on landing from Gonna Be A Devil, Yellow Cat cheek pieces on the right, that is bang on time, the brown jacket in rear Cavalli de Marcus back in June that's the second well and a lot better than bang on time did that was a mistake, went right through that Gopher had to, to sit tight there. They move on towards number three. Back in June and Kings Apollo. Over that, better jump from Kings Apollo. In third, going to be a devil and Matt Griffiths with a bang on time. Green silks on the outside. In the back two, Thomas Wilde and Miguel Nolan. And finally, Cavallo de Marcus. Two circuits ahead of them now. And the next one they take will be number four, the water. Who back in June did take part in the Somerset National Hill here last time. He got hampered fairly early in the race by a faller. He was on the inside of King's Apollo. Comes into the cross the back of a win. It's going to be a devil in third. Bang on time, Thomas Wilde and Caballo de Marcus as they come to the water. And they'll find that that, although back in June, is requiring some rousting, some encouragement fairly firmly from from Gavin Sheard, and he's the, the man for the job based on Easy Beasy earlier today. But back in June, open lead to Kings Apollo and James Nixon, his regular partner, comes to the first one, a plain fence in the back, and accurate jumps all round from the sector back in June. On the inside of Kings Apollo is Bang on Time and Gonna Be a Devil, the next two, Thomas Wilde in black, white, and red. And Caballo de Marcus and Freddie Mitchell. Here is an open ditch. And no problems for these chasers. And they move on to another plain one. It'll be number seven of their 21. Kings Apollo. We won at Taunton just last week. Comes into this. Chops it well. We're back in June. And gonna be a devil. Trainer Jeremy Scott. And then bang on time. Caballo de Marcus anchored in rear with uh, Thomas Wilde also ran in the Somerset National last time. And back in June, gets over that open ditch. Again, though, he's not giving it away for free to Gavin Sheehan. A little slap on the, down the shoulder there for this one, just to try and get him to apply himself properly as they turn right-handed. And it is back in June on the inside of Kings Apollo. Gonna be a devil happy where he is in third. And then racing together alongside one another. Bang on time. And Thomas Wilde with Caballo de Marcus in last. Here is the cross fence, number nine. Kings Apollo, and back in June. And he's all taking that safely. Turning into the home straight. And he's back in June on the inside of Kings Apollo. Just get the feeling with, with back in June. As long as he keeps jumping well, he'll, he'll stay up there. But one more mistake, and he could be right on the back foot again. He's making Gavin Sheehan just humour him along in front a bit more than humouring now as he has to, to crouch a bit lower with Kings Apollo going to be a devil in behind Thomas Wilde sticks to the inside no moves from any of the ones that are being held on to at this stage they get over the first in the straight a slight air there from Caballo de Marcus at the back but not one to be overly concerned about bang on time is also in rear of the six well over a circuit to go the second one in the straight and back in June again He's not really facing this with much relish. He's gone back into third spot. The King's Apollo moving sweetly with Gonna Be a Devil. Back in June, Thomas Wilde on the inside. Caballo de Marcus relegates bang on time to last place, making two places. Caballo de Marcus going into third without the need for much effort from Freddie Mitchell. A circuit to go and a couple of lengths between all six of them. And it is on the inside, back in June, pushed up there again by, by Gavin Sheehan. And then on the outside of that one, going to be a devil, moving nicely with Kings Apollo. Thomas Wilde following the whip now drawn, and a reminder of Minister to back in June. Caballo de Marcus, a very close fifth, with bang on time on the outside. Here's the water once again, maybe just back in June, to going to be a devil, and Kings Apollo within fourth place. Thomas Wilde going past Caballo de Marcus with a bang on time, and Nick Schofield for Richard Woolacott just in last place. Tap's being turned on again as they move on towards the first of four in the back. A plain face back in June. Takes back nicely a line of three 
for the lead and the ones in behind as well. Back in June, going to be a Devil King's Apollo. They're on then from Thomas Wark. Hang on time. And Tobias De Marcus with an open ditch. Fence number 15 of the 21. Into it they come. And not quite as good a leap as you might have hoped for, Mesprit, was not going to be a devil, but he was all right with King's Apollo on the outside, and James Nixon has had, had lots of flex of muscle so far. More than can be said for Gavin Sheehan on back in June on the inside. Now in third, Thomas Wilde following with Gavaro de Marcus, and the bang on time is asked for a little bit more there than the cheap pieces to the outside. So have they finally seen the back of back in June now? King's Apollo with Gonna Be a Devil. Oh, oh shocking fall there from Gavaro de Marcus. The horse is quickly to his feet, and hopefully Freddie Mitchell will be up there shortly also. It looks as though he was going to get up okay. Going to be a devil, driven now on the inside of King's Apollo. He still moves nicely enough with his third place, Thomas Wilde. Michael Nolan hasn't gone for everything just yet. Bang on time in fourth, and back in June, and back in fifth. Coming to the cross fence, four out. Barker Clark, Bridgewater, Handicap Chase, King's Apollo, going to be a devil, pressing on now. Thomas Wilde wasn't that fluent back in third. And then bang on time. Long way to go up the straight. Kings Apollo and James Nixon on the outside of Matt Griffiths and going to be a devil. Thomas Wilde is six lengths back in third with bang on time. Another couple back. A little look across there from James Nixon on the Kings Apollo. Maybe he fancies he's got going to be a devil covered as they come on towards three out. And it is the Kings Apollo in front of going to be a devil. Thomas Wilde is sticking on doubtily in third place. He's not far off trying to catch these up. He might stay on. It is Kings Apollo. Two out, it's Kings Apollo. He hasn't put this to bed just yet. He leads, though. It's about five lengths to Gonna Be a Devil and Thomas Wilde. And now Kings Apollo beginning to come away by about six lengths to Gonna Be a Devil and Thomas Wilde. The final fence for Kings Apollo needs a good jump to put the seal on it. He lands clear by five or six lengths. James Dixon driving him out. The second's going to be a good battle, Thomas Wilde. And Gonna Be a Devil. But it's Kings Apollo. He's going to follow and win under James Nixon and do so in great style. Second, Thomas Wilde in third, gonna be a devil. Fourth was bang on time back in.